what's up fandom fam how is everyone doing welcome back to a brand new moto vlog and today i want to give you a brief walk around and some details like the specifications about my 2018 ktm 250 duke so let's get this started Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame So it might be nice to own a jet plane I'm a It's a nice beautiful day here in Pune And boy, what a bike I just love the handling on it Obviously I'm still in the break-in period So don't expect any fireworks yet the Phantom Hill! <laughs> Yikes! Bad road. No problem. <clears throat> Alright guys, so here we are. That's my KTM Duke 250. And uh, let me just switch the camera and I'll run you through the specifications. Looking gorgeous in this bright day. Now let me just run you through some specifications. This is the new model for 2018 and although there are not many changes, let me show you the, the heat shield that they've put here as well. This is new as it was also there on the Duke. 390 now some specifications it's a 248.7 cc single cylinder engine obviously the max power is rated at close to 30 brake horsepower at 9000 rpm and max torque at 24 newton meters 7000 500 rpm it's a good power band there it's a liquid cooled engine as you can see it's got that radiator with the coolant level there six gears it's got a slipper clutch so no more uh you know locking of the rear wheel on quicker downshifts it also makes the clutch pull much lighter so really really good a few other features so it's got a let me show you the disc brake it shares the disc brake with the duke 200 which is a 300 mm front with four piston caliper and it's got a 230 mm rear disc with a single pot caliper over there 17 inch wheels unfortunately we don't get the medzillas here these are mrf revs and the rating for these tires is h rated these are h rated tires which means that the the tire compound is a little softer compared to the duke uh, what else the front forks are 43 mm obviously open cartridge upside down suspension on the front and a WP monoshock at the rear which I think is preload adjustable it's got a digital speedometer with a host of functions uh, as you can see the split trellis frame uh, the subframe is separate and can be removed it's got these uh, LED DRLs in the front which look pretty neat especially at night obviously all the the turn signals as well as the tail lamp is LED but the headlight is halogen bulb no complaints over there the downside uh, there is no ABS not even as an optional and uh, you got a 13.5 liter tank now it's an all metal tank so good capacity and uh, the price on road for people who have been asking so it cost me around in the house of Two lakh uh, three thousand rupees something. Uh, this is all stock, obviously. 
as you can see the the rear mud guard and we get this uh, what is now a standard feature for Indian two-wheelers the sari guard it's a beautiful bike guys I really love it I'm not uh, I'm very happy with my decision nothing to regret here that's it let me know what do you guys think in the comments I'll be making a proper ride review of this bike so please uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see the vehicle is still in the break-in period uh, I've done I think around 200 kilometers till now so it's still new keeping it under 7500 rpms as being told by the the guys so let me know what you would like to see and I will bring that kind of content uh, to you Thank you for watching guys thank you for supporting the channel please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you're new make sure you subscribe more to come thank you and ride safe everyone whoop, whoop.